uh, for a quick tutorial on the Hi5 all-in-one hardware and software video conferencing solution. We're going to focus our time in this video uh, on the software component of the Hi5 experience. And um, then the next video uh, will feature uh, our in-room hardware environment uh, as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen with you here so you can follow along closely. <clears throat> Perfect. So step one is, what do I do? Where do I go to start my high five meeting? So you can actually just open a new tab in your Google Chrome browser and type in start.highfive.com. And this will take you to your high five home screen. So really important to note uh, that the high five uh, infrastructure is built on WebRTC, which gives us the opportunity to provide high level, high quality audio and video capability in a browser. So this makes for a very easy experience for customers, clients, people that are new to High Five, or people like myself that use High Five every day. Uh, we can ensure that our meeting is just another tab in our browser. That being said, um, if you are an individual that does prefer a, a web client uh, you know, in order to join your video meetings, you're more than welcome to download the High Five app. Um, we do support Mac, Windows, uh, Android, iOS, and Linux environments. So worry not. If you prefer an app, we have an app. Uh, as well. So let's go ahead uh, and take a look at this home page. You're going to see three options uh, across your home page. The first is to create a high five meeting, then join a high five meeting, and then just to share your screen wirelessly to a nearby uh, TV. And then at the bottom of the screen here, um, you'll act actually see my calendar events uh, for the day. So High Five will integrate uh, quite easily with uh, your Google Calendar environment or perhaps your Office 365 environment um, to ensure that you can always see the meetings that you have for the day at the bottom of your screen. If one of those meetings uh, happens to have a High Five meeting link in it, like this one does here, you're also going to see the Join Me uh, option, or rather the Join Now option. So let's go ahead and create a meeting. Let's call it uh, High Five Demo here. We'll go start meeting now. Uh, and then High Five will take us to uh, the interstitial page. So this is a nice friendly reminder, hey, you're about to join a video meeting. Uh, make sure you've combed your hair uh, and that you're ready and alert. Um, if you prefer to not join uh, via video, maybe it is a bad hair day, you can disable your camera uh, ahead of time or mute yourself. Perhaps you're coming into the meeting a little bit late and don't want to cause any interruptions when you join. Um, those are all options you get in the High Five interstitial page, uh, as well as the option to click on your settings uh, and make sure that you've configured the proper audio and video settings uh, to have the best experience once the meeting starts. So we're going to go ahead. And I'm actually going to mute myself simply because I have another meeting running up at the top um, uh, of the page. So I want to ensure that there's no echo. So uh, I'll just mute myself for now. Click continue. And then lovely, just like that, we've joined our high five uh, video meeting uh, from my laptop in the browser. So any feature and capability uh, that comes along with High Five is going to be incredibly easy to use. So to the point where some of these features here at the bottom are basically self-explanatory, uh, but we'll go through them today uh, together just to make sure you have a good grasp um, on what the features are. But again, super easy and straightforward. You can unmute yourself or mute yourself, uh, disable that camera, if you're a little camera shy uh, or whatnot, share your screen. Uh, I'm already engaged with the screen share option, as uh, so you see my entire desktop. If I prefer to just screen share uh, one tab, I can do that as well. I can go ahead and pick a window or a tab or select uh, my entire screen. So up to you, it depends on what you feel comfortable with. Uh, then record meeting. Uh, one key unique characteristic about the High Five uh, bundles and the High Five pricing model is that call recording is actually included with every High Five bundle on an unlimited basis. So we will not charge you per minute or per meeting that you've recorded. No need to come back to us and say, wait, how many minutes did I pay for? How many minutes have I used? You have unlimited recording capabilities. So click that record button uh, if it's important for uh, your collaboration needs. And then we've got group chat, uh, very self-explanatory here again. Where we see group chat get used the most uh, is specifically during town halls or all hands meetings that are hosted through the High Five platform. Maybe someone has a question halfway through the presentation, they don't want to interrupt uh, the presenter, so they just toss their question into the chat box and then the presenter can reference the chat box uh, at the end of the meeting. And then finally, here we have move to TV, which is perhaps the most important option in the entire Hi5 uh, platform. And this is going to give us the ability to actually wirelessly move the Hi5 meeting from my laptop 
into the physical conference room. So that would move the call up to the TV in the conference room, initiate the high five camera, uh, and provide an in-room video setup. No need to plug a dongle into your computer, no need for an adapter, no need for a cheat sheet. Your users just click move to TV, and then they find the name of the conference room they're in. So it's going to show me the recent rooms that I've used uh, in the last uh, few hours here. If there's a room that doesn't show up as recent, I can just go ahead and type that room in, and it will pop up as well. I'm not going to move us up to the TV. Uh, we'll save that for the next video that addresses uh, high five in your physical conference room. But just know from the software uh, perspective, this is where you go to move your TV, or rather move your call from your laptop to your TV. Great. So let's say that we want to invite someone to a high five meeting. Maybe we forgot to send them a calendar invitation. No worries. We can come over to this participants tab, add participants, and we can go ahead and just invite someone via email. So I'm going to invite Bay at HighFive.com, send him an invite. He'll receive an email uh, with very clear instructions on how to join the High Five meeting, which URL to click on. He'll click on that URL in his email. It will immediately pop open a new Google Chrome tab, uh, and voila, he will be in the High Five meeting. Uh, if we're Slack users, uh, we can also go ahead and just at Jay, uh, and his Slack will pop up. Uh, as well. So he'll get a direct message uh, from my Slack account, inviting him to a high five meeting in our Slack direct message channel, and he'll be able to join the call that way as well. So quite a few options for folks um, who want to join uh, a high five meeting. We can invite them via email, we can invite them via Slack, or we can invite them through um, our Google or Office 365 calendar integration. And then finally, um, just to mention as we talk about different ways for people to join High Five meetings, uh, High Five does play friendly with others. So we do have a robust uh, SIP integration offering. Um, so more than happy to uh, connect with you personally or have you reach out to your account executive to learn more about the specifics of our SIP integration. But just know uh, it is there indeed. Perfect. So the last piece uh, of the software environment that I want to show you is actually this button at the bottom uh, that says Get Help. So when we click on this option, um, we actually get access to the High Five support team in call. So if I want to chat to them, uh, perhaps I uh, forgot where the call recording goes after the meeting, I can chat into Katie, John, Jennifer, any member of our support team, uh, and they typically respond in under five minutes. Uh, I think at the moment they're in their um, weekly support team sync meeting, so there's a bit more of a delay here, as you can see, but typical response rate uh, in SLA is about five minutes. Um, important to note that that's actually not unique to a uh, high five admin, but every high five end user, whether you're a customer or you're joining your client in their high five account, everybody can access our support time at any time. So definitely a great resource to take advantage of. Great. So this wraps up uh, the portion uh, of the High Five demo today that was really just exploring our web conferencing interface uh, that you can access both in the browser or through our native app client. Uh, the next video is going to explore the High Five in-room hardware setup a little further. So thank you for your time uh, and go check out the next video uh, on our High Five in-room experience.